I got my room, um, like furniture moved. My husband helped me a lot. Um, I just don't love this. I really don't. And I feel like I'm overthinking it and I'm being that annoying person, <laughs> but I don't like it and it's going to bug me. So I think what I'm going to do is move the cubbies. So they're like coming out this way from the door and then I will have my full bulletin board space. So my husband is not here today. Y'all wish me luck, but I'm going to try to get these cubbies moved with that hand truck. Oh man, I can't tell y'all how much better this makes me feel. <laughs> so much better. I feel like this just makes way more sense. So, cubbies right here kind of creates like a little walkway. Now, I have this whole bulletin board to work with. I've got outlets now. So, man, I feel a lot better. This looks so much better. Let me turn you around and show you the front of the room. I'm not even gonna bother putting border under here because it's just gonna get destroyed. Okay, so now what I wanna do is get out my silhouette and cut some letters um, to start like labeling my bulletin boards. Here's a trick to help getting perfectly straight letters on your bulletin board. So what I do is I lay my letters flat on the table and then I put a piece of transfer tape on top of it. You can use blue painters tape or um, something that's not going to rip the paper. But I lay that on top and then I move the taped letters to my bulletin board and stick it on there. Make sure it's centered and straight and then I staple it.
love this. In a previous video, in my prep video, I spray painted this one with that clear matte spray and totally forgot to spray the rest of them. When I got here, realized that I didn't spray everything, but you can tell big time the difference between that one, which is sprayed, and everything else, which is not. Like, look at that glare. Live and learn. So, door is done. This stuff um, was here when I got here. I'll figure out what to do with that later. But this is the garland I ordered on Amazon. It came in a pack like this, and I wasn't really sure what to expect. It's definitely paper, um, but when you like pull the string, it comes apart, and it's so pretty. And I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it. I need something up here by this window. So I think I'm gonna somehow incorporate it up here. So I wanted to share something with you guys really quick. I absolutely just was not loving my classroom layout um, that I've done so far. And I heard about this idea from Maylene on Miss Calls Campers. Um, I will put her little Instagram thing below so you can check her out too. But um, she had this really good idea to create your class layout in PowerPoint. So I opened up Keynote. I have a Mac, so Keynote is basically the same thing as PowerPoint. Um, but this is how I have configured my classroom. And I am going to do my best to model it in real life after this one. So we've got my front door here. You saw where my cubbies were. I'm gonna use my back two shelves for um, storage and filing papers and things like that. My classroom library, that's a huge change. So right now it's on this bookshelf, but I am moving it here um, on that built-in. These two bookshelves are gonna go on either side of the HVAC system. One is gonna be for um, student supplies and the other one will be for math manipulatives and things like that. My smart board is staying right here. I'm going to move my small group table to the front of the room. And my reason being is because whenever I am doing whole group instruction, I am never in front of my whiteboard. I am always using my little TV or smart board and then kind of like rotating throughout the room. I generally use my whiteboard for small group instruction, so I thought it would make the most sense to have my table directly in front of that. I've got my desk in the same spot and then obviously that built in right there. Let me show you what I have going on. There's a lot of people coming in and out of my room, so I kind of feel weird about filming. Um, but this um, stuff is already laminated. I have my laminator still going over there. These numbers are going to go on their cubbies to label that. These squares are gonna go on my calendar, um, and that I'm gonna put right here on this bulletin board. Same thing, I've got months of the year. I also have these little um, clock labels. These are in my TPT store. Actually, I think all of this is in my TPT store. Um, I'll link those below, but these are gonna go around my clock. Um, same thing, I made like a little, what time is it kind of thing. But these are gonna go in my Sterilite three drawer bins. And then calendar, I made a place value, a little caterpillar um, like this, so different colors to represent place value. And then I also um, have like a little birthday thing with a cupcake. I'll find the cupcake, but this is gonna go right here. Instead of putting all of the kids' birthdays on there at the same time, I'm just gonna highlight whatever month it is. Um, and then put the kids' names on there just for that month. I kind of feel like it makes it feel a little bit more special. Um, so these spell out words that I'm gonna put to label like objectives, learning, um, like this will be like my learning anchor chart board. So that needs to be laminated. This is done, it's just baking in there. And then these are growth mindset alphabet posters that I made to go right up here.
I really love the calendar that I made. So I made all these labels, the dates, all that. I like that. This is my first time that I've ever used washi tape. And I'll be honest, I don't really know how I feel about it. Um, some of it is sticking, some of it is not. I just, I don't know. If it starts peeling up, I'm gonna have to reinforce it with some hot glue. But um, originally I thought about putting it in a pocket chart, but I don't wanna spend like really much more money. So pocket chart idea, maybe next year. But I did find Velcro at the dollar store. So we'll see how it holds up. Okay, here's what I got done today. I'm gonna hurry up and do this so that way I can get out. Um, got my bins done. I got the cubbies labeled with numbers. This bulletin board is completely done. So I've got my birthdays here. I'll list the students there. This is gonna be like current anchor charts that we're learning. Um, this was the second little swag that I had from Amazon. So I just stapled it up there. These are the um, growth mindset posters that I showed you at the beginning. Letter Z, I gotta fix that one. Calendar, again, not totally in love with it, but we're gonna roll with it. My cursive alphabet I got from the dollar store and it has the little tropical fruits on it. And of course that one fell behind the whiteboard. So I either have to try to dig it out um, and it did not fall down here or I'll have to buy another one. And I hope I can find it because I searched so many dollar stores to find a tropical one. This is the other swag. It, um, fell. It was glued there. So I need to fix that. So here rounding out the front of my room, I moved my small group table there. Um, these are my objectives. So this is basically done. Um, these are my small group uh, chart so I can move the students names around and I know what group they belong to um, I have my clock thing up there I am gonna cut out on my silhouette just in solid black letters um, something to go up here I hope you enjoyed today's video if you liked it remember to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button down below I'm going to be doing a few more days in here before um, I have to go back for teacher work days so be on the lookout for another setup video. Have a good day. Bye.